What is up guys? Welcome back to Season 1, Episode 18 of MaxCraft. Today we are at a nether fortress, and we find out if I can complete the intro without dying. I thought, I thought I'd be more at risk, but it seems pretty, uh, it seems pretty tame right now. So, yeah, this is the nether fortress where we were last episode, attempting to get some wither skeleton skulls to build a beacon, which didn't end up happening. Hello, spawn some blaze. Come on. Uh, we must be a mob cap or something. Uh, I don't know where all the mobs are at, though. So, I am going to attempt to transform this area. And there they are. <laughs> oh, 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 we're getting lit up. Oh, no. <laughs> I will attempt to transform this area into some kind of Wither Skeleton Skull farm. And potentially also a Blaze Rod farm. I don't know if it's easier to build them together or separate. But I definitely want both of those materials uh, when we farm this area. So we'll see what we're gonna do. Anyway, right now we're gonna hop over to a meetup with Mindstoner. He's gonna sell me gravel so I can make more concrete to finish my base. And also, I think he has some potions of fire resistance because he has been farming the piglins like crazy using his gold farm. Here we are in the shopping district to meet the Mind Stoner and wow, he has been making some big changes, man. I love what you've done with the crying obsidian over here. Yeah. I, my farm just spits out too many, too much of it, so I think I had just too much of it. And, and apparently, took... he doesn't have a sugarcane farm, so all of my rockets are being sold. <laughs> we definitely need no, to come by yet, here. Not yet, not yet. I do not have um, enough materials for it to make... To make <laughs> one that's more. completely ridiculous, because you could make a normal one, but, you know. I mean, yeah, obviously, but that's not what I do. Ooh! <laughs> Are you also the patron of the gold of the iron store? No, 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 I didn't. Oh, I don't know who's I, I buying mean, iron then. The Pickling bartering system gives iron out now. Does it give iron nuggets? <laughs> yeah, it gives. It 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 gives you iron nuggets. Let's check out his new shop over here. Wow, this place looks insane. I like the big yellow P. That looks, you know, that doesn't remind me of anything. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, oh, oh. iron boots with soul speed. Yo, that's actually dope. Okay, so we are going to do a bulk deal for some gravel, right? Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to give you one diamond block per, and then for the fire resistance, one extra diamond block. How's that sound? I mean, just cut one off because, I, I mean, I do have so much gravel. I mean, that's, that's like the same price as you would get if you just would just normally buy it. All right. I'll take this and I'll give you three diamonds. And I will keep these shulkers because I just gave you more. So, all right. Well, get a membership if you want. I what's mean, that? If, you, if you're planning on getting too much stuff. <laughs> Whoa, fifty diamonds, man. That sounds like a scam to me. <laughs> if I, I mean, if I spent fifty get, diamonds, I mean, you have to buy to a get... lot until you until you can until you <laughs> until you profit of it. Fifty diamonds to get twenty five percent off. That would mean I would have to spend. Like 200 diamonds here to, <laughs> to make my money's worth. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now that that is a good scam. I'm a fan of that scam. All right. Well, I am off to the Nether, and uh, you'll see my deaths in chat. So uh, have a good day, man. Here we go. Quick little restock on the rocket shop. All right. Perfect. There we go. We've got two full shulkers, and one day we'll fill this all the way up. But uh, for right now, oh, I have lots of gunpowder. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take all this gunpowder out of here. I'm going to turn it into rockets because I think rockets are the better seller of the two. So we can take this. Yeah. So we got tons of this, tons of gunpowder, and we can make a bunch of rockets. There we go. Fully restocked. Not really, but still a lot more stock than we used to have. And uh, nobody's buying the gunpowder anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And our inventory is not completely empty, which is something I always do when I restock rockets. I just empty my inventory. And I'm like, where's all my rockets? <laughs> so let's head back now and uh, see what we can do on this wither skeleton farm. I, I pro, wow, that looks, that's really dangerous. Let's, uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that was, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go probably look up some kind of design. Whoa, that was a close angle. Uh, figure out what kind of design I can build in the next, you know, few hours because I don't often have that long to record these episodes. So I'll see what's the quickest way we can start getting those wither skeleton skulls to come in. And, oh, I just realized that it may involve wither roses. But if we can't have wither roses, we may just have to do a general farm. Because that's what I was thinking anyway to get those blaze rods. We'll see. All right. 
I'll see you guys in a second when I have a plan. So I have decided to build Nembom's uh, super amazing farm that I know Iskal built in season six of Hermitcraft and uh, many others. So I'm gonna buy what I can. Let me see here, 32 for a diamond. Oh my gosh, this stuff is dirt cheap. And you see that there, the game keeps crashing. I am getting about one minute of gameplay time before my game crashes. I've switched to just the plain Optifine version. This may run better than, uh, than the other version. So let's put that back. Gosh, Lapis Lazuli is so worthless. Let's go ahead and get a full stack of Crying Obsidian here. And uh, what else could I use? Hmm. No, I'm going to get plenty of that while building the farm. Six stacks for a diamond. I should just buy the rest of this. <laughs> Uh, one book. Let me see. Soul Speed 3. Oh, you know what? I'll take a Soul Speed 3. How many diamonds? One diamond. Yo, <laughs> Mind Center has made this much too cheap, but I am going to shop here. So, looks like we may have alleviated the crashing. Now, let's see. What else do we need for this farm? Blackstone. Can we see? Man, I'm going to buy all that Blackstone. Some leather, some regular obsidian. All right, so we're going to stick with those purchases that we've made thus far, and we're going to try and construct this farm. Well, I don't mean construct the farm because we really can't construct it until I think next episode or the episode after. We're going to need to spend a lot of time gathering materials. And since it's nighttime, we actually can go start doing some material gathering right now. Over here at Fang's base, while slimes still refuse to spawn in his slime farm for some reason, we can actually go ahead and attack and kill slimes that spawn naturally in the swamp biome. So knowing that, we're gonna go ahead and look around, wait till we see a large slime spawn and then kill it, get all of the slime from it, and uh, oh yeah, let's see the progress that they did. I know that these guys, whoa, I didn't know there was a guardian temple over here. Shoot, I'm gonna get mining fatigue. Oh, there's some slimes, perfect. So let's go take out these slimes and uh, hopefully not get killed by regular mobs. All right, we just wanna pick up slime balls right now, so let's go ahead and Cover our inventory with those. Yeah, it looks like the filling in that they did in their last uh, live stream to work on the quad witch hut has actually worked against them in this area because now there's a big old mob spawning location. And there we go. Oh no, poor slime, he's gonna drown. Oh wait, is that a slime head? <gasps> Yo, a slime head, that is so cool. I'm hearing guardian noises, which is a pretty scary noise, honestly. So in order to make this farm, you actually need like four stacks of slime blocks. And I think what I have to do is be out here just tons and tons of time, probably all night and all into the next day. And oh my goodness, I need to eat food. But yeah, I think it takes nine stacks of slime balls just to make one stack of slime blocks. So it will definitely be here for a long time. But this spawning area is actually really great for uh, making slimes. I'll see you guys when we have collected, gosh, at least one stack of slime balls, blocks, whatever. I just came over here because it became day and I saw a drown and I got his trident. <laughs> Which is awesome because, uh, believe it or not, when I got tridents earlier in the season, I threw them away. Like, both of them. I, I had two tridents and I threw them off my uh, drown farm and then it just they disappeared and I never found them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we have 11 slime blocks and I guess eight slime balls. So this is going to take, this could take a long time. It, it's, it's, it, and it's day. So we'll be here at least, gosh, 11 and we need 64 times four. If those nightly rates hold up, that would be 23 nights, which also means seven, eight hours of this. So, <laughs> oh, here's hoping that slimes start to spawn in this place and I could uh, just kill the slimes, man, because this is pretty whack. Quick pit stop at the base. I went ahead and dug some sand. And what do we have here? This must be a present left from the mine stoner. Ooh, looks like we got some free samples from his stores. The food bus, huh? I wonder what that is. We need to go check it out. <gasps> Oh, yo, free samples. I love free samples. That is amazing. Oh, man. <laughs> For a second, I thought they all had different names. Oh, that would have been so toxic. <laughs> oh, I will definitely be eating these, you know, free samples do not eat. And yo, Crying Obsidian, that is great as well. Anyway, let's see what the food bus is all about. I bet it's over here by his other shops. 
There it is. Wow, that is a uh, little copycat. A little, little bit of, mm, it kind of looks similar. All right, let's see what he's got. Ooh, golden carrots, 32 for a diamond, and more golden carrots. Oh, and hots. Yo, one for thir oh, 13 for a diamond. Earlier, I thought it was one for a diamond, and he was selling it like at a crazy rate, but that's actually a good price, and I'll come back here if I need more, but I did just get a shulker from him. So let's go ahead. I'm going to buy him out of the golden carrots. There we go. We have bought him out completely, and we should be almost full here on the golden carrot box. I really hope that we can fill it up eventually. We'll probably need to do some serious AFK sessions. Once we get beacons, we can actually fully activate the raid farm. We could run it overnight, completely fill up our emerald chest, and that would be great. So what on earth is going on here? Are we like full, full? Oh my gosh. This farm is so like insane. Like people always talk about how slow bee farms are. This has like no bees in it. And it's completely full. We gotta shut this down. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Get out of my inventory. Go, go, go. <laughs> We're just gonna clear the shears out of here. We'll let these fill up with honey and let the bees live their life in peace. I'm so done collecting stuff from bees for right now. So I am still trying to collect slime, but while I wait on nighttime, and I should actually open this door so I'd be able to tell when it was nighttime. See that? It is daytime, even though it always looks dark in my base. I am going to start crafting up some more gray concrete. Wait, what was that? Oh, what the heck? Where's all that light gray concrete come from? Yo, I actually have a lot more work I can do in here. Uh, so I'm going to start crafting up more concrete, though, because this whole wall might be done, but this whole entire wall also needs done still. And we're also still looking for more white concrete to finish the floors there. So I think white concrete would be my number one priority. I would love to get all these floors filled in. And obviously, it needs to be turned into concrete because this whole floor actually doesn't exist. So I can't put concrete powder there and then just wash it over with water. I need to actually make it into concrete. So we we'll use the concrete blast chamber for that. We've got a couple of shulkers full of sand. Let me, I'm going to try and salvage the sandbox if I can. Keep something in here that's actually full of sand doing its purpose. And then one of these should have, oh, these are all have garbage in them. <laughs> oh, why do I have garbage in my ender chest? <laughs> my life is definitely in disorganization in this base. And we just have chest monsters growing and growing by the day. So uh, let's grab, let's stack those up. We can make some of those into blocks. 34 slime blocks to my name right now. We'll put them in this shulker because I know this shulker is uh, where I've been keeping it classically. Get all this cobblestone out of here. I can put it back away. Organization, organization. Anyway, let's craft up some concrete and get to work building more of the base. Well, I have once again pulled a classic jamster. I did exactly the thing that I said I was not going to do, which is to uh, fill in all the floor underneath and then replace all of the concrete with powder. So I ended up doing this just because I know what a pain in the butt it is to use the concrete blast chamber. And it's hard to clear out uh, all of the blocks that you have because it's not like perfectly even distribution of blocks and stuff. So I just went ahead and filled in the floor. I thought it would be a little bit faster than running the concrete blast chamber for five minutes and then clearing out the concrete chamber and all the rest of that stuff. And I wanted to do the floor here and then get right on to doing the walls with that little bit of gray concrete that's left. And uh, we're going to see what this looks like. I think that is all the powder. So now our floors are complete. So these floors definitely look how I want them to. Super industrial. And there's a couple of spots that are darker and I'm dying just from building in my base. <laughs> oh, typical. Typical. Check out that 190 score. Anyway, so uh, we're going to fill up the rest of this base. And I know eventually this will look totally different because this will have uh, pillars of end rods stacking up all the way to the ceiling in all these corners. So hopefully the lighting difference that those bring will be fantastic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try and fill in this space here with the rest of the gray concrete that we have on hand. And then we will run the blast chamber for the extra concrete just because I know that we're going to use a lot of gray concrete. Probably even, even more than the floors would take up. So last time I underestimated. This time, hopefully I'll overestimate. Like you saw there, I had one extra stack of white concrete, which I was happy to have just because I don't want to keep coming back for more concrete. Of course, I will have to throughout the rest of the build, but hopefully for now, we are done making concrete once I make the rest of that gray concrete. And that's all she wrote. That is a lot of concrete placed, and I totally got distracted about 
leaving every night to look for slime. So I'm going to go run over there right now and look for more slime. Why does that look so different? I need to, like, fly up there and pull a little uh, light update maneuver. Let's see if we can take this on. Okay, let's see if we can just drop dead. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, we'll just leave that uh we'll just leave that torch up there forever because I'm never going back. <laughs> uh eventually I'll go up there with some uh end rods, just like they are over here. So we will get that done eventually. But let's run back over to Fang's base. We do need more slime balls all the time. And that is just about it. We left the slimes once again. And we came back to finish another concrete wall. So we blew through the blast chamber, got the rest of our gray concrete good to go, and we finished. I think this space is looking epic, and I think I'm going to leave this area in stone. But now it's time to move on to other steps in the base. So basically, what is going to happen is I'll be taking down the steps right here for sure. I may remove uh, the terracotta that's not touching the slime balls. I want to make like an upper platform area and then I'm going to make a lower area that's kind of like a uh, like an industrial area. So I want to make like an ice farm in here. I want to make like an Iron Man machine in here and just all kind of awesome things. But we are finally through the first step of that, which is getting all of these walls and floor filled up with concrete. So now I just need to create an end rod farm. And I don't think the chorus fruits will be the problem. It'll be the blaze rods. But of course, the initial vision for this episode was me completing a general nether mob farm at a nether fortress. So let's see what progress we've made so far. Yikes, that is 69 <laughs> blocks, very nice. Uh, 69 slime blocks, which is not nearly enough to uh, do this project, but I think we could at least start it. Like, there's high potential that we could complete one layer of the farm with this much done. So I'm going to work on that over the next week. I'm going to keep coming back, grinding on more slimes, and trying to get more materials going for this farm. All right, there we go, all repaired up. Let's turn this farm back off and we can kill these guys that are left over. Oh my goodness, that was some crazy thunder. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Whoa, this place is insane. He moved all the, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Uh, anyway, Mindstunner has been doing some really awesome work. If you guys haven't checked out his videos, be sure to go and check them out. So I'm gonna go now with my freshly repaired tools and we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of scouting on our nether fortress and see uh, where the best place to build will be. So over here at this castle we have this one which is in a pretty good spot over the lava but uh, and I'm talking about a crossroads here which is the best spot to spawn uh, nether mobs but I think if we go over here and uh, avoid that ghast this one is in like a really really prime position let's uh let's see if we can kill this wither skeleton real quick here hey bud come here you got a skull for me Ooh, no skull this time but uh if we go ahead and build it here we have all of this lava all underneath us here Ooh, a ruined portal i wonder what's in there i want to go loot it loot ah pretty lame uh, but if we build it over top of the lava, this would be such a good place to start the build because there's already so much area, quote unquote, cleared out. And I know we have this pretty decent sized crimson forest beneath us, but I don't think that's going to be a huge problem. So I think we're going to see pretty good rates just right off the bat. So I'm going to do a little bit of prepping this area right now. All right, we have run out of time for today, but we are going to continue this uh, farm building project in the next episode. So be sure to tune in if you guys want to watch me uh, build up this nether fortress and uh, start collecting some crazy amounts of skulls. I think I may try to get uh, a nether mob cap going in the next episode. Maybe I'll get my spectator account logged in and uh, we'll put him in survival mode and sit him next to like 10,000 blaze to turn off all the mobs in the nether. That could work or something else just so that we're safe while building the farm because yeah, I definitely don't want to be uh, <laughs> thwarted by gas or something while I'm trying to build a really complex farm. Eventually, we will have to grind out clearing all of the spawning spaces around here, but I think this is a really good spot that we've decided to build the farm in just because it is already so cleared out, lots and lots of lava, 
and makes me really nervous <laughs> whenever I'm hanging out here. So uh, tune in next episode, guys. If you guys like this episode, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys want to see more from MaxCraft, hit the subscribe button. My name is Jamster, and I'm out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm going to get set on fire. Oh my goodness. I think there's a... Uh... Oh, there's a skeleton back there. Is there still? Oh, there still is. All right, I'm going to go try and kill him before I uh, leave the farm for today. Nope, nothing. All right, we're out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, that was dangerous. I definitely don't want to be here when I log back in. <laughs> uh...